There are many reasons why the United States is an economic juggernaut. Our technology, skilled workforce, and productivity make us the envy of the world. But there is one major contributor behind the scenes that we oftentimes forget. Our ability to move goods easily and economically through our transportation infrastructure. One of the most cost-effective methods of transport, our nation's inland waterways, is in danger of becoming obsolete. All the result of decades of delayed improvements to our crumbling locks and dams. Industry leaders have been well aware for years, but nothing has changed. One such facility is the LaGrange Lock and Dam, located on the Illinois River, which connects Chicago and Lake Michigan to the Mississippi River. It was built in 1936 and designed to last 50 years. That was 80 years ago. Every day, about 70,000 tons of goods worth $27 million travel through here. Grain, petroleum, manufactured goods, chemicals, coal, and more, representing billions of dollars to the U.S. economy each year. Lots of tonnage goes through this lock and it's wore over the years, it's wore the lock walls concaved. No one is more aware of the situation than Bill Cross, who has been the lockmaster at LaGrange for 27 years. Each and every day, he and his crew have to work hard hours just to keep the vital lock and dam functional. I mean, it's, it's age, just age. It was designed to last 50 years. It's, it's 80 years old, and it's never stopped being used. The lock chamber's bad shape. All the machinery in the lock is very bad shape. You can't get parts for any of it. Some of the parts we're running off now we've made. Uh, a lot of the parts that we're using are robbed from Peoria Lock when they've done a the rehab. We get calls where myself and the assistant lock master and the mechanic are on call 24-7. But the issue is more than just all the effort to keep the lock working. The lock poses a danger to every barge that moves through it. We've got big chunks missing in the lock wall holes and jagged edges, which is dangerous to the industry, you know. We, we gotta be real careful with getting the boats in and out of this lock that they don't hook into that jagged steel. And it's not just Bill Cross's opinion. A team of several structural engineers visited and inspected every lock and dam in the country and gave it a grade. And this was the only place I'm sure that got an F. There were some D minuses, but this, this was one of the worst. Just the age of the lock and the condition of the concrete and the amount of commodity that goes through it, it's, you know, the, as much as it's used. That's what scored us high. 